Uh, well, let's uh, take you to where all this is going on, at least the Legion uh, Legionella uh, outbreak. Our correspondent, Dan Whitehead, is in uh, Portland. Let's head straight uh, over to there. And, and Dan, uh, have you seen uh, any uh, of those migrants uh, coming off uh, the Bibi Stockholm? No, and it's our understanding um, from a couple of sources that the 39 asylum seekers in question are actually still on board the Bibi uh, currently. Uh, we spoke to uh, one of those asylum seekers who received a letter at the start of the week. He was one of the ones who had refused to go on the barge on Monday, uh, changed his mind and went on board on Tuesday. We've had contact in the last 15 minutes or so to confirm that he is still on the barge. Um, let's quickly chat to um, Heather from Stand Up to Racism Dorset, which is the, one of the groups who's um, been down here obviously since the start. Um, Heather, I know you're not giving your surname, but you're, you're speaking on behalf of the group, and I know that you've been working in liaison with, and speaking to a number of the asylum seekers on board. Um, You've spoken to multiple in the last hour. Are they all still on board and what have they told you? Um, from what I know, they have told me they are all on board. They do not know anything what's go uh, that's been going on. They've acted like I'm crazy when I've been asking them if they're OK. Um, I have been informed that an instant management meeting is going on at the moment and the asylum seekers will be told after that that they will need to be evacuated. But it is, it is disgusting that they are not being the first ones to know and that the press know before anyone else. I, know, I don't know if you want to get your phone, I don't know if you have, because you were going through some of the, um, let's just quickly get some of the messages and, and texts that you've been having from some of the asylum seekers um, uh, on board. Um, I spoke to you just before, um, obviously Sky News broke this uh, story this afternoon and I spoke to you to see if you were aware, you, you weren't at the time. Obviously you got in contact with uh, a number of those on board. I mean, just give us an example of some of the messages that the asylum seekers have been telling you in the last hour. So I, I text someone say are you okay i've heard the news that you have been moved off the barge and he just says hello no no we are still on the barge um i i someone's texted me back saying we do not know what you are saying no one has told us anything please tell me from what source you have heard this news and is it authentic what is the cause they have no idea i've spoken to people on the phone and they have said everyone is still on board and no one knows okay so clearly as to your understanding there's an incident response uh, that's that's being led by the council in your understanding the home the home office um the management co company and i think the council were involved involved yes. uh, it may be a case then obviously now trying to find accommodation um, for, for the 39 who've, who've made it on board. Let's just take a step back and get your reaction to the news. Um, you've obviously been saying for a long time that this is not suitable accommodation. Yeah. The fact that there is this uh, Legionella bacteria on board, what's your reaction? I'm not even surprised, to be honest. Um, I am upset for the guys. I'm upset that they don't know about it. They've been disclosing to me... Um, many, many problems um, on the barge. It has all been a massive, disorganised and chaotic and really some of them much more serious. And I was waiting... I wanted the management company to get back to me before I went to the press with those concerns. But considering all them concerns plus this, I'm not actually surprised. What are the other concerns that they've raised this week? Some have raised concerns that they haven't been able to access their mental health medication. The buses are not turning up or being very, very late. Um, the amount of security they have to go on and off the barge. They've, dis they've disclosed to me that actually they, a lot of them are choosing to stay on the barge because the security is so long and, in addition, the buses are not turning up that it's just easier not to leave the barge. So, in, in essence, they feel that they are imprisoned there. And lastly, your group now this afternoon saying that this is almost a line that's been crossed. It's, it, it's, it's time to end it. Uh, yeah, I think this should be the nail in the coffin. I think Rishi Sunak should just say this has been a huge mess and a bit of a waste of money. Um, and they, uh, hopefully they can just go back to the communities they came from because a lot of them have been uprooted from communities that really supported them and um, they were really valued in. Heather, thanks for speaking to us and bringing us up to date. I really appreciate it.